think most of us are singing that old nursery rhyme, rain, rain, go away. Ida has been a slow, persistent powerhouse of a storm as it came on shore two days ago and continues to bring us rain here. Significant rain since midnight. Some spots have seen upwards of three inches. Take a look at some of our Skynet cameras across the area. We'll start in Clarksville. Wet conditions. Roads have not been fun this afternoon. It's practically whiteout conditions from the spray of the vehicles and the wheels in front of you. Clarksville sitting at 70, so it has cooled us down, but nearly two inches of rain. And like I said, these rain gauges, they reset at midnight every night. So this doesn't take into account the rain that they had yesterday. Hopkinsville just under an inch sitting in the low 70s, low clouds there. Murfreesboro, same thing uh, between an inch and three quarters and two inches there. So we knew this was going to be a soaker for us. We've dealt with some localized flooding, but we haven't had any major reports which we're going to take that grace, right? National Weather Service has released some of our western counties from that flash flood watch. Areas along and east remain in this watch until just after midnight tonight. Reminder to you, watch means just that. Watch out. Flooding could develop. If a warning or an advisory is issued, then that means flooding is happening. So looking at the Power 5 radars, you don't have to be a meteorologist to pick out a little bit of a spin here, right? The activity near Interstate 65 is sort of churning a little bit southward. The activity towards the plateau is more of a northward march to it. That's the inherent rotation in what's left of Ida. It will continue to bring showers, some heavy at time. Even a couple rumbles of thunder are possible as it exits slowly, and I mean painfully slowly to the east. Heaviest rain right now is across our eastern tier, so it's dotting areas across parts of Wilson County. Same thing, northern parts of Rutherford County over towards DeKalb County, Smithville, Pitter Patter, some very heavy raindrops out there. Enough rain that there is a flood advisory in effect for northern portions of Rutherford County until 5 o'clock. Aerial flood advisories are when runoff causes that water to continue to rise even after it stopped raining. So be mindful, it doesn't have to be raining for water to continue to go up. We know that well around here. Look at rainfall totals over the last two days from just Ida and is as expected. Roughly two to five inches has fallen across the area. Some spots even got a little bit more than that. Uh, Simpson County up in Kentucky, uh, in areas south of Nashville, closer to the three to, three to four inch range. So it has been a soaking start to the week. This system will slowly pull off to the east as we head into the evening hours tonight and then we're going to start to quiet down. There will still be a couple showers around on Wednesday, but the severe threat is over and they would be very light, persistent and kind of stubborn, but they're not going to cause the same kind of problem. And then a long dry stretch takes us into the weekend. We need this. We're all hoping September is going to be a little bit nicer than August. Stay with us. Lots more on News Channel 5 at 4.